Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Joey here, and today we're going to revisit a park that I was building last year, but didn't get able to finish it, and that is Jurassic Horror Nights Part 2, or Version 2, whatever you want to call it. Now the reason why I didn't finish it, or I abandoned the park altogether, is because, well, um, I didn't get to finish it on time since, um, you know, the month of October, and it was already in middle of November, and my... I think it also a DLC just drop around November. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to continue this. I abandoned it. And here I am. I'm back into this park. And if you guys remember, hopefully you guys do remember. Um, here's are some of the attractions that I did. The theme over this is not only like horror theme, but as a light show as well. Um, we'll do a little overrun. Um, yeah, let's just do a little tour. So here is the Therizinosaurus Dimorphodon exhibit. Um, I call this Kruger. I thought I named this one. I keep forgetting to call it. But yeah, like a little cave, as you could say, um, with the aviary, replacing it with a cave. And there's like some sort of a monster living in this cave. That monster is the Therizinosaurus, aka Kruger. And the Dimorphodons represents, you know, resembles bats. So that's a little attraction there. Then you go in here, this is a graveyard with Consignacius and Sinosauropteryx. Hold up, I gotta double check just in case. Yeah, so it's a, a little graveyard attraction here. Pretty cool. Then you go here, this is my this is my favorite. Oh, wait, hold up. Before we get here, we have to go here too. So we have another um cave, bat cave with a Jehelopteryx. So uh, a bat cave, you know. Little went too hard on decorations here with the aviary. Really like it though. I really like it. Um, now we go to my favorite attraction, which is a radioactive acid lagoon. So there's a story behind this is that the right here, whatever building that has been destroyed here by whatever monster that is living there, um, acid just spew out from the forest and into the lagoon and it transform whatever creatures that's living underneath this ocean to mutated monsters so like the elasmosaurus and the dunkiosis that's why they look like what they look like is because of the the acid that is spewing off from the lagoon so that is a very creative idea that i spew up with now we go right here this is um, a kind of homage of the Kaiju Godzilla um, Monster Rampage attraction. And the monster is none other than the Giganotosaurus. So all of the buildings that have been destroyed, have been conquered. You know, you see the lava, the rocks, and the fire. Look at that. That looks like, looks like fire. I really did took my time on this. I totally forgot how good <laughs> this build is. Um, but yeah, so the Giganotosaurus kind of represents some sort of kaiju that's ramming the area or the small little village. Pretty cool. Then we go here with the bioluminescent hadrosaurs. A really cool light show with some of our favorite bioluminescent dinosaurs such as the Parasaurolophus. Now the hybrids such as the... Oh my gosh why the name escaped me Sinoceratops, right and the the ankle docus I, those guys they haven't been revealed yet this was last year build so maybe i could add them there i don't know um stixosaurus what game stop stixosaurus another bioluminescent oh and nothosaurus too so we have stixosaurus and nothosaurus or we just have only Nothosaurus. Oh yeah, here they are. So any of the bioluminescent creatures are in this attraction here. Now we go through here and again more with the playing with the lights. We have Protoceratus. Um, I remember this one. This one gave me a so much hard time um, because I didn't use any fence. There's some small little gaps where some of the dinosaurs can easily skim through it. Um, but this is the Protoceratus, and this is the Compies, right? No, not the Compies. These are the Coelophiles. Oh, the, this one used to be the Compies. But the Compies, they're they are so tricky, man. They they can escape from small little gaps. That's why I use the Invisible Fence. Then I put a r layers of rocks just in case. But then the Compies still giving me a hard time. So I moved the Compies into the graveyard and replaced them with the Coelophiles. Which Coelophiles have been a really good boys lately. Here is the first exhibit I built was the Dilophosaurus. 
I don't think I have the videos anymore, guys. I don't think you're going to relive the videos. I think I all deleted the videos. And that's one thing that, you know, back in the day, last year, last year, I said back in the day, like it's, I'm old. Um, Last year, yeah, if there's a video that is underperform or it's not really that good, I tend to delete it because, you know, I felt self-cautious <laughs> of myself. But, you know, I felt like I should be proud of the builds that I built, whether people watch it or not. Um, but yeah, it's it's a shame you guys would not see the series. I think I've made like eight series of this from all of them. Um, oh well, here's a little review, so maybe you guys could catch up. Here is another light show with the Carnotaurus. Hey, I haven't built a Carnotaurus exhibit in a while. I need to play more around with these dinosaurs. But yeah, so it's like a little... I don't know what to call it. I never, I don't build, been a lot in horror attractions or whatnot. Um, let me go. No. What? Where is it? Here you go. First person view. And you know how you've been in one of those scary houses, you know, where you have like employees will like pop out and scare you? This is kind of like it is. You know, you're just walking in a, in a, in a, in a, in a long path. And all of a sudden, carnivores will like, boo, scare you just right here. <laughs> so that that's the theme for this. We had a Carnotaurus and it kind of fused with the Scorpius Rex. And here's the Scorpius Rex exhibit. Oh, I went all out. I used to, dang, I used to do all kinds of stuff with my exhibits. What happened? I just got lazy. That's what happened. And here is the Indo Raptor exhibit with the temple, like some sort of um, sacrifice thing going on here <laughs> um but yeah we have the indominate not the indominus rex the indoraptor and the scorpius rex so it's a, another tour ride here that goes from the indoraptor all the way up here you get to see the dilophosaurus and then you go down here and you get to see the scorpius rex it's a fun thrilling ride for the family Really cool stuff, and this was supposed to be the next. Okay, um, I'm just going to go to day. Here, this is supposed to be the next um, build for the series, but again, I stopped it because it was like in the middle of November. I'm like, I had no interest in building any spooky stuff anymore. Um, but it's another tour ride, as you can see. As you cannot see because I didn't finish it. And basically this is where the, the famous dinosaurs like the Velociraptor, the T-Rex, and the... I believe this was supposed to be the um, Indominus Rex. And right here is the Quetzalcoatlus. So yeah, it's one big ride. And you go here and another dinosaur right here. You go right here. Oh no, you can't go there. I mean, you're supposed to be going here. Another, so it's 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 like an island of some sort, but ah, uh, uh, scrap the idea. But anyways, we're back here, so we're going to continue the idea with building a T Rex. So this is going to be the T Rex right here, Velociraptor right here. We'll start with the Velociraptor because that's easy. All right, we're going to use fences this time, and we're going to where? Let me see. Yeah, I like this. We're going to delete this. We're going to delete all this. We're going to go to a good old-fashioned all-American fence. <laughs> and we're going to go skip around the tour. Boom. I, I still remember the theme for this attraction, too. So it's it, it's so kind of like an homage of the first movie, uh, Jurassic Park, where the Velociraptors are hunting um, Alex and Tim. In the when they were at, visit the innovation center, which this is the innovative center, right? This is where they uh, stop, right? I don't know. I forgot what building. I think it was the other building. But yeah. So let's go. Huh? Ah? Storm. I turn on storm. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, let's go. I'm down. Oh man, come on game. See these wall sections are cool, but the hitbox are ridiculous. So we're gonna use rocks. Oh yeah, we have a storm. 
You know, I never touched the storm since what well, was the last time I played was in Chaos Theory, and it was a huge tornado. It was no, not a tornado. It was a sandstorm, and it destroyed everything. I was sad, sad, sad. Hey, look at the rain! Holy crap! I it's loud. I have to like. Hopefully, I don't yell at your guys' ears. Hold up, we got some trouble. Which one destroyed? I mean, everything is destroyed. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I'll, it, it's 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 not that bad. It's just um, heavy rain. It's it's not like uh, a tornado. So let's just keep going. Oh my goodness! See, it's really hard to do stuff when game tell you not to do stuff. You know what? Let me just take. Yeah, I, I'm gonna take away the tracks and then let me put the wall section back. Oh, delete you too. All right, let's bring back the wall section. See, it's just gentle rain. Rain doesn't hurt nobody. So we're gonna wall switch. Plop, there you go. And oh my goodness. Good job, guys. We handled that. All right, let's see if we could. Oh shoot, I didn't even add the. My, my, my. All right, okay. So which tour ride did I use anyways? No, let's use the Jurassic, the good old Jurassic tour ride. Um, How did I do this last time? No, um, dang. Okay, so we have to do some re-abandoning. Let's, uh, Slurp up the water. Let's increase it. I think this is what I had it last time. All right, we'll go back to our track shits. We'll grab our Jurassic Tour ride. How did I? All right, we're just gonna connect it. We're just gonna connect it for now. Oh, it's not. Help me make this sense. Did I use the Jurassic Tour Ride or did I use the Jurassic Park Tour Ride? What did I use? Alright, we're gonna... Oh yeah, it's the Jurassic Park Tour Ride. Alright. <clears throat> Bloom. Alright. Edit. Okay, cool. So this is how I had it before. Oh, this is really interesting. Oh, okay. That will not work. You know, I think I had to take away some of the path. Boom. Easy. Okay, so let's see. Let's... Let's see what we're gonna handle this. You see, I, I really wanna use I, I'm gonna make it work. I have to make it work. I don't want the game to tell me what to do. I tell the game what to do. There you go. The hitbox is incredibly annoying. Okay. Um, where's the walls? Fine. Whatever. And... Wait, what? Can't tell by the color. I don't know if it's the right path color or not. Jeez, game. All right, can I connect this now? There you go. 
blip. Okay, so this is like somewhat of attempt of the dining room area where <clears throat> where the kids were eating jello. And then the raptors will show up in the silhouette like this. Man, that movie's good. And this is their wild their wild environment. All right. Raptors, raptors, raptors. We'll just uh, plop some trees. Bleep. Not too much. You know what I should add? Oh my gosh. How could you not add it? How could you not add it? We're dealing with raptors here, man. Okay, let me find it. Because I don't know where things are at sometimes. Where is it? Wait, that's not it. Am I blind? It's right here. My goodness. <laughs> of course, the Velociraptor paddock. Come on. It's a staple. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I just saw. I just saw um, a lighthouse. It is not a lighthouse. It's a watchtower. Of course, you need a watchtower. Dealing with raptors here, guys. All right, help me, game. Just, just place water. Just, I just need a plop. Yep, of course, of course. Game won't let me add water. Maybe, maybe you could just add the paddock right here, <clears throat> and then. Oh, thank you. We don't need too much. And then spray it around with trees. And some shrubs and we got it okay that is a beautiful 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 um exhibit for our velociraptors a little bit sad i think velociraptors do need sand we got our hatchery here let's plop some <clears throat> easy peasy lemon squeezy so with the velociraptors um where are they here they are <clears throat> Let's, let's boost them up. Let's inject them with some super soldier serum. I want my dinosaurs to be strong and fit. Of course, we're going to go with... Um, oh, shoot. Which one is it? 1993. 1993. 1993. Alright, cook that up. <clears throat> now, we got the Velociraptor. Okay, so this is the T-Rex right so i didn't finish yeah i didn't finish um building the t-rex um closure so let's see let's uh hold up i gotta think this through am i doing it right i don't know if i'm doing it right why am i using this fence this is the wrong type of fence we need the jurassic park fence Wait, that's not it. Is this it? No, what fence is that? I like that one. The spikes. World. Wait. Alright. <clears throat> Where are the spikes? Is this the spikes one? No, that's not the spikes one. Is this the spikes one? Nope, that's not it. Nope. No. Why am I like what what fence is that? How can I not find it? Oh, that's key. Is this one? Oh here it is. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Bloops. Oh yeah. Oh man. I didn't, I don't want to, um, 
do that. Let me, um... Okay, so I need to... Yeah, this is where it should end, right? Yeah. And then, where's the end of that fence? Right over here? Blop. Okay, is that enclosed? Okay. Actually, let me just do um, connected here. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now it looks funky. Now that looks weird. Hold up. Let me um, connect it right here. Like that. Okay, there you go. Take this one out. Okay, we got ourselves a T-Rex. That was pretty easy. Pretty easy. Okay, we'll we'll get um, a T-Rex too. Rexy, of course. Oops, let's boost you up. Let's see. We have six of these guys. How many Velociraptors in the movie? Two, right? There's only two of them or three? I'm not sure. Let's add three. Okay, so we have the T-Rex. Um, we need a goat too, huh? Because you can't have a T-Rex without a goat. Uh, where should we put the goat? Billy goat. Bah, right here. You know what they should add? Is instead of having them roam freely, we have a goat like tie in a leash. I know it sounds vicious. But that's how it is in the movie. You know? Okay. Let's add our Velociraptor. Plop. Plop. And right here. One right here. One right here. Oh, I'll be. Can't put them anywhere these days. All right, we have the Velociraptor up and ready. Let's go ahead. Let's just have one T-Rex. Yeah, one and only Rexy. Okay, so here, I think this is the Adominus. I believe. If I were mistaken, the Adominus. Adominus, yeah, because it's Jurassic World. So, let's go ahead and... Has been collected. Let's pick a Jurassic World fence. And we'll just... um. Connect the fancy. Let's have it a uh, the broad, um, heavy one. We'll go around the area, going around town. Yeah, I'm just gonna connect it right there. If I remember, the theme for this is like Jurassic World has been abandoned, and. The island has been like owned by another company. I think it was Biosyn or whatever. I don't know. I forgot the whole story of this. It's been a while. Ugh. Still? Okay. Whatever. Whatever. There you go. All right. Now we need the Adominus food. I have a meat here and a go why not I will shower it with some trees let's make it dark and dense the dominus anyways oh let's hey I got an idea says the dominus can like glow in the dark <laughs> glow in the dark can light up <laughs> um, has a uh, bioluminescent skin. That's what I'm trying to say. We will we'll get that. We'll get that. And we'll see the Adominus. Once you're getting the ride, you see only light. That light will get closer and closer and closer. And then, <gasps> see the Adominus and it will eat you. Place the rocks. All right, cool. Now we got our a little um, exhibit here. Let's um, grab the T-Rex. 
We'll place the T-Rex already. And then let's go ahead and cook us a Dominus. E Dominus, 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 I. All right, skin pattern. Um, oh, the Lux. Heck yeah. Cook the Dominus Rex. All right. Let me see. What time do I have? All right. Well, well I think this is really good so far. And we'll go tonight. Let's decorate some of the the environment with lights. I haven't played with lights in a while, so I'm really excited to use one of these. What is my go-to? No, that's not my go. This is my go-to. I really like this because you could actually hide, as you can see. Hide the lights right where that tree is and it looks like the tree is glowing with spooky Hazard colors so we'll get to be very precise and make sure um i think this is easier with a mouse controller a cursor <laughs> because it's really hard with the controller hey that looks really cool um let's play with the colors once i plop every single one of them boom Look at that. Okay, how do I um, change colors again? <laughs> what do I do? Change lights. Oh, here it is. Let's do a a, a red type of ordeal we're going Delivery in. Complete. Let's have it red. You know what? You know what I should have done? I should have get my Indominus first and then mimic the color that Indominus has. I should have done that. Let me just, um, because the uh, dominant is going to be there for a while. Let's just continue placing lights right there, right there. Oops, that was that's not precise at all. Right there, oh, spooky. Just for the Halloween spirit. Hey, that is cool. Let, let's add some rocks and then hide it with some lights. So let's. Do, 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 do. Oh man, look at that. I'm gonna do this on my spare time, if that's fine with you guys, because if not. You know, this video will be like 10 hours long. And you guys don't have time to watch a 10 hour long video. Okay, if I really took my time on this, it would be like all of this. Like this actually took me like 6 hours, 7 hours. Look at all the lights. <laughs> With a mix of little orange and, and yellow and red. Give that fiery effect. Look at that, like a little fiery effect show. Oh my goodness. Um, six hours, seven hours, all of this. So I'm not gonna spend so much time doing that, right? Nobody has time for that. It's not right there. You click here, demolish. Don't demolish it. But if you go to damage, you can click on the building and you could destroy it and it looks like it's been demolished so you know for those who don't know okay so there, there's now you guys know oh look oh look at that that is a picture of a perfect oh my gosh that is a thumbnail right there if i ever seen one perfect for this type of video and then a little bit of mix oh well see i, I if 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 it's my spare time, I will make it so detailed. But since I'm recording, making a video, um, this is the process you guys gonna see. <laughs> but I will do it on my spare time. Anyhow, right here I would put like lights too. You know what? What I would do as well is grab the torches if I could find it. You need to better organize um, this a little bit, just a little bit. And just add some torches right here. Let 
Let's just hope we don't get a forest fire. Blam! We have our T-Rex, beautiful dinosaur. Oh, you know what is also a cool... The floodlights. Oh, look at that. Is that a floodlight? What is that? That ain't no floodlight. Get out of here. Here, this is the one. Man, look at how bright that one is. We'll add one right here as well. We'll add it. We'll, we'll add it somewhere. We'll add it right here. Boom. And we'll add a floodlight right over here. So hiding in the forest. Get that ominous light in the distance. Be like, what is going on there? Maybe we could add another light right here. No, we can't. We can't add it in the water. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, um, we need another light. Just that right here. Fine. And blam. There we go, guys. We built a ride for the... 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 Uh, our... What? I can't talk. T-Rex, Velociraptor, and Neodominus. Let's connect this battle. Actually, we didn't finish connecting this. There! Nice! So we got a cool-looking 3-in-1 exhibit. Now we'll... I think we'll just end it right here. And then again, in my own time, I could decorate this bad boy into something spectacular. Just like what I did here. Look at this is so I, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this exhibit. Look at this. This is so well detailed. Oh man. Anyways, guys, I think this is it. Let me see what time we have. Yeah. Alright, that is a long video. Um hopefully you guys do enjoy this uh, Halloween special edition of Jurassic World Evolution 2. And maybe I will do continue this park. Maybe not. Maybe we'll save it for next year again. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. Thank you guys for watching.